Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. The topic of this video is about algebraic expressions. I'm going to be talking about concepts such as terms, like terms, coefficients, constant terms, and variables, but I'm going to start off with a more realistic scenario to help you build a stronger understanding of why we use these. Pause to check out the timestamps and feel free to jump around the video by using them in the description. Feel free to pause the video at any time to process any information. It looks like Mr. Lee is going to start off by giving you $4 on Monday. On Tuesday, he's going to give you $5 for every math problem that you complete. On Wednesday, he's just going to give you $3 for being cool. On Thursday, you're going to get $1 for every math problem that you complete. And finally, on Friday, you're going to get $7 for every math problem that you complete. I think a lot of people would maybe like math a little bit more if they were getting paid for every problem they were doing. Let's start by organizing the information a bit. On Monday, you just get the $4 one time for being awesome. On Tuesday, the amount of money you make really depends on how many math problems you do. While you make $5 per problem, the more problems you do, the more money you'll make. We can represent this total amount of money by writing $5 times the number of problems that you do. On Wednesday, you just get $3 for being cool. You don't have to do any math problems. On Thursday, you're getting $1 per problem, so it's very similar to Tuesday, except you get less money per problem. And on Friday, Mr. Lee's feeling generous, so you're actually getting $7 for every math problem that you do. If I were you, I would try to do as many problems as I could on Friday to make more money. To represent the total amount of money you could make in a week, we can add up all these bits of information to create one total algebraic expression. Simplifying 5 times t to 5t, 1t to just t, and 7 times t to 7t, we can write an algebraic expression that represents the total amount of money you can make in a week. Since we know that you completed the same number of problems each day, we use the same variable of t. That can be seen here as well. Let's look at this algebraic expression in a little more detail. While you'll eventually work with expressions with subtraction signs, this video is going to be focusing on just using addition signs. Each plus sign separates something called a term. Each of these are called terms. While different algebraic expressions have different number of terms, this particular one has five terms. The terms here are 4, 5t, 3, t, and 7t. Now you might have noticed that some of these terms look like each other. Terms that have the same variable and the same degree are called like terms. While it's not really important in pre-algebra, when I say degree, I just mean the exponent of the variable. For example, t and t squared would not be like terms. While the 5t, t, and 7t are like terms with each other, the 4 and 3 are also like terms because they're just plain numbers. For like terms, we can say 5t, t, and 7t are like terms with each other. And separately, we can say 4 and 3 are like terms with each other. Whenever you see a term that's just a number, we actually call this a constant term. We call these constant terms because the value of these terms can never change. We don't call 5t, t, and 7t constant terms because we don't know the value of these terms. Depending on what the value of t is, the value of these terms will change. We can call these variable terms. The constant terms here are 4 and 3. Then we have these things called coefficients. Coefficients help tell us how many of each variable we have. Here we have a coefficient of 5, which represents $5 per problem. Here we don't see a coefficient, but it's actually because there's the 1 here. Since 1 times any number is always just that number, we typically don't write this 1 here. Regardless, it's important that you understand that there's a 1 here, even though we don't see it. Kind of like how you can say you have 2 slices of pizza or 3 slices of pizza, you can say you just had a slice of pizza instead of saying 1 slice of pizza. You don't have to write the 1 if it's a singular amount. And the 7 is a third coefficient, representing $7 per problem on Friday. The coefficients here are 5, 1, and 7. The last important piece to point out is the variable. While algebraic expressions can have more than one variable, this particular expression just has one. The one variable we have here is t, and that represents the number of problems that you do each day. It turns out, you can simplify algebraic expressions by combining like terms. Since these are like terms, we can add 5t plus 1t plus 7t to get a total of 13t. Instead of writing these three terms separately, we can combine them by writing one term of 13t. Similarly, we can combine these two like terms of 4 and 3, or these constant terms, to get 7. This is what we would call a fully simplified algebraic expression because there are no more like terms. Let's just say you hypothetically completed 5 problems a day. You could substitute 5 in for t and solve for the total amount of money you would make for the week. While you could substitute the 5 into the original expression in 3 different locations, it would be much easier to substitute it in one time to the simplified expression to get your answer. Remember, t doesn't have to be 5. If you did 10 problems a day, or 7 problems a day, or 100 problems a day, substituting any of those values in for t will get you the total amount of money you would make. 
Now that we went over a quick overview, let's get into some practice problems together. Feel free to grab some paper and something to write with, and let's do some math together. Here in example one, let's practice identifying parts of algebraic expressions. For each of the following expressions, we're gonna find the terms, like terms, constant terms, coefficients, variables, and the simplified version of the expression. Let's look at this expression of 4x plus 7 plus 2x plus 12. In this expression, there are four terms. A little shortcut you can use for the number of terms is that it's always going to be one more than the number of plus signs you see. Since we see three plus signs, there are four terms here. Listing them out, we have 4x, 7, 2x, and 12. Now let's look at like terms. 4x and 2x are like terms, and 7 and 12 are like terms. Because 7 and 12 are terms that don't change in value, those are also our constant terms. Our coefficients here are 4 and 2, and those tell us how many of each x we have, and the only variable we have here is x. We can combine the like terms of 4x and 2x to make 6x, and we can combine the like terms or constant terms of 7 and 12 to make 19. While the original expression had four terms, the simplified algebraic expression is 6x plus 19 with just two terms. Let's try another one together. This algebraic expression is 7a plus 8 plus a plus 4a. Since there are three plus signs, we know that there are four terms. The terms are 7a, 8a, and 4a. The ones that are like terms are 7a, a, and 4a. I know it's sad, but this a doesn't have any like terms. It's just gonna be a constant term over here. In this expression, there are three coefficients. Seven is a coefficient, one is a coefficient, and four is a coefficient. While many people are gonna forget that there's a coefficient of one in front of this a, use that big brain of yours and remember that there's always a coefficient in front of every variable. Always double check to see if you've missed one as a coefficient. Since we only see one letter in our expression, a is our variable. To simplify this, we can combine like terms and combine 7a plus 1a to get 8a and add that onto 4a to get a total of 12a. Since this 8 doesn't have any like terms, we're just going to add on 8 afterwards. Our fully simplified expression is 12a plus 8. Let's just try one more here. There are 5 plus signs here, so that means there are 6 terms. Our 6 terms are 3x, 4, 2y, 5x, 10y, and x. The 3x, 5x, and x are like terms with each other. The 2y and 10y are like terms. And the poor 4 is all by itself. Sadly, this 4 isn't like the other terms. Just kidding, that makes it special. That makes it our one constant term. Since we have five terms with variables, we're gonna have five coefficients. Our coefficients are gonna be three, two, five, 10, and one. Don't forget about that invisible one in front of that x. This expression has two variables. We have x and y. Combining the like terms with x, 3x plus 5x is 8x, and 8x plus this 1x here gets us 9x. Combining this 2y and 10y together, we can get a total of 12y, so we're gonna add 12y here. And finally, we're gonna add on this constant term of four. Our fully simplified algebraic expression here is 9x plus 12y plus four. Hopefully you understand these vocab words a little better now. Here in example two, let's practice simplifying algebraic expressions by combining like terms. Let's start with this expression. See if you can identify any like terms right away. This 5a and 2a are like terms and can be combined to make a total of 7a. This three, eight, and seven are constant terms which are like terms and can be combined. Three plus eight is 11 and 11 plus seven is 18. By combining like terms, we've simplified this algebraic expression. While mathematically, this expression is equivalent to this expression, I hope we can agree that the simplified version looks a little bit less intimidating, is less writing, and will be easier to use when we solve things later. Now let's try simplifying this algebraic expression. Combining this 7c and 1c, that's 8c, plus this 9c is going to get us 17c. Combining this 1d and 4d, we can get a total of 5d. And finally, combining these constant terms of two and three, we can get a five. This would be our simplified expression. And here's one more. Combining this one x plus eight x, that's nine x, plus one more x is a total of 10 x. This two y is all on its own, so we're just gonna have two y here. And the constant terms of 12 and 11 can be combined to make 23. Here's our simplified expression. 
These are just three examples of how to simplify algebraic expressions by combining like terms. Here in example three, we're going to practice evaluating algebraic expressions by simplifying first. In each of the following examples, v will equal 6, w will equal 4, x equals 3, y equals 1 half, and z equals 2 thirds. For this first example, I'm going to evaluate this algebraic expression without simplifying. Without simplifying, we would substitute the value of v in right away. Since v equals 6, we would write 3 times 6 plus 7 plus 6 plus 2 plus 8 times 6. Since multiplication is more important than addition, we can multiply 3 times 6 to get 18. We'll add the 7, 6, and 2, and we can multiply 8 times 6 to get 48. Going left to right here, 18 plus 7 is 25, so we'll write 25 plus 6 plus 2 plus 48. 25 plus 6 is 31, so we'll write 31 plus 2 plus 48. 31 plus 2 is 33, so we'll have 33 plus 48. And finally, 33 plus 48 is 81. So what if we simplified first? First notice that 3v, v, and 8v are like terms. 3v plus 1v is 4v, and 4v plus 8v gets a total of 12v. Those three terms can be combined together to make 12v. The 7 and 2 are constant terms, which are also like terms, and can be combined to make 9. Using the simplified expression, let's now plug in 6 for v. Substituting in, we'll have 12 times 6 plus 9. 12 times 6 is 72, so we'll write 72 plus 9. And 72 plus 9 is 81. Technically, you don't have to simplify first to evaluate an algebraic expression. However, it's very common that if you simplify the algebraic expression first by combining like terms, evaluating it will be much easier. Let's evaluate this algebraic expression, but let's simplify first. First combining this 1x and 8x, we can write 9x. Then combining this 4w and 1w, we can write 5w. This constant term of 17 is just going to be on the end here. Now that we've combined all the like terms, let's substitute the values in. 9x is really 9 times 3, and 5w is really 5 times 4. And we still have this constant plus 17. Since the two multiplication problems are most important, we're going to do those first. 9 times 3 is 27, and 5 times 4 is 20. From left to right, 27 plus 20 is 47, so we can write 47 plus 17, and that gives us an answer of 64. Let's try one last one here. Alphabetically, I'm starting with this w here. It has no like term, so we can just write w. Combining this 3y and 7y together, we can get a total of 10y. And finally, adding on 4z and 1z to get 5z, and adding that on to 10z to get 15z, we can write 15z here. Substituting in 4 for w, 1 half for y, and 2 thirds for z, we'll have 4 plus 10 times 1 half plus 15 times 2 thirds. Since multiplication is more important than addition, let's solve these multiplication problems first. 10 times 1 half is just 10 over 1 times 1 over 2. The 2 and 10 can cross cancel to make 1 and 5, and 5 times 1 is going to be 5, and 1 times 1 is 1 which results in just 5 holes. This should make sense because half of 10 is 5. For 15 times 2 thirds, we can write 15 over 1 times 2 over 3. The 3 and the 15 can cross cancel to make 5 and 1. 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 1 is 1, and this simplifies down to 10. This should also make sense because 1 third of 15 is 5, so 2 thirds of 15 should be 10. Copying the rest of the problem down here, we have 4 plus 5 plus 10. And from left to right, 4 plus 5 is 9, so we have 9 plus 10, and 9 plus 10 is 19. And that wraps up this video on algebraic expression vocabulary and how to simplify and combine like terms. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you in the next one.